Now we want to spend a few minutes here talking about the decisions that a switch will make. Because my Cisco switches are going to perform three basic functions. We said this in the onset of this module. It will either forward, filter, or flood a frame. So what I've given you here is just a sample topology and we're not going to get too technical with it, but we're just going to kind of understand how the switch makes decisions. So I've put a MAC address table there at the bottom of your screen. And you can see interface F1 slash 0 slash 20. That's where that PC that's labeled A is located in this example. So let's assume that that PC sends a frame on the network. Now notice what happened there. The MAC address of A in this example, A.A.A. .A .A, is entered into the MAC address table and an aging timer is associated with it. Now the reason that we associate it with an aging timer is because if we never hear from this MAC address again, in other words, if the user were to close the lid on that laptop and leave, well then eventually that MAC address needs to time out because it's no longer on the network. So that aging timer starts counting down. In this case, we're saying 60 seconds. Now, if the switch sees another frame come from that source, it'll refresh that aging timer. So it'll remain in the MAC address database. So in this case, let's assume that the destination is B. Okay, so where's the destination? It's B. But in our MAC address database, we don't have an entry for the MAC address of B. You can see that the only thing in the MAC address database here is A because we just learned it. So we had an empty MAC address database. So in this case, the question is, should the switch forward, filter, or flood this frame? Well, we know in this case that we need to flood the frame. We flood the frame out of every port except for the one that the frame came in on. And that's an important concept to understand as well, the concept of flooding. Some people might incorrectly use the term broadcast. You see, broadcast implies that the destination address is all ones. That's not the case. The destination address is B. So we're not going to change the frame in any way. We're simply going to flood that frame or copy that frame and send it out of every interface except for the one that it came in on. 